and welcome to Maggie Reads. I'm in my nice blue comfy chair and today we're going to be reading that one written and illustrated by Ludwig Bellman. Ponies, Pet Shop, and Paw Patrol? Sure, but I also love New York City and all things Broadway. Singing? Yep. Stage door? Maybe we've met. Then there's my dog Rachel and cats Bailey and Monica. But I love school, especially reading. And I'm here to read along with you. Welcome to Maggie Reads. This book won a Cottle Cot Award. And an old house in Paris that was covered with vines. They have 12 little girls and two straight lines. In two straight lines, they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. And sometimes they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines. In rain, or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of ice. She loved winter, snow, and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, poo, poo. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, something is not right. Little Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried. Her eyes were red. And soon after Dr. Khan came, he rushed out to the phone. And he dad, Dad Khan 10 6. Nurse, he says. It's an appendix. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was drawn. Madeline was in his arm, in a blanket safe and warm. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room full of flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed, there was a crank. In a crack on the ceiling, had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. Outside, there were birds, trees, and sky. And so... Ten days passed quickly by. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, Is it this a fine day to visit? Madeline. Visitors from two to four read a sign outside her door, tiptoeing this slalom face with some flowers in a vase. Inside they walked and then said, Ah, when they saw the toys and candy in the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far on her stomach was a scar. Goodbye, they said. We'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They went home and broke their bread, brushed her teeth, and went to bed. In the middle of one night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, Something is not right, and afraid of a disaster. Miss Clavel ran fast and faster, and she, put, and she said, Cho Please, children, Tell me what is troubling you. And all the little girls cried, Boo-hoo, we want to have our appendix out too. Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned out the light and closed the door. That's all there is. There isn't any more. I hope you enjoyed me reading Madeline. Thanks for watching. Join us next time 
when I'm reading Make for, the, for Ducklings. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell. Bye! Hi, I'm Maggie. I'm surprised this hoodie doesn't have like a hood. Cause it's called a hoodie. Get it? Hoodie. It's supposed to have a hood. It's called a hoodie. Right. So you don't get my joke. I get But you didn't laugh. You're supposed to just say LOL if you don't want to laugh outside. LOL. Thank you.